Friends, in this video, I will show you how you can develop a Laravel application to generate a CSV file and download it. Let me show you the application. So I type localhost 8000 in the browser. It gives me a list of applications. Actually, these are the details of some users. I have added some test data and it is showing the list of the users. You can see there are various pages here and there is a download CSV button here. So if I click on this, we can download the CSV file which contains the list of these applications. So if I click on it, it is downloaded. Now I show in folder. I open it. So it gives me the list in a CSV file. It gives me the name, email and address. Let me show you how we can develop this using Laravel 10 and MySQL database. Before that, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get a notification for the new video. Let us first create a project in Laravel 10. So what I will do here, I have a F drive. Here I have a folder Laravel. So I will go to command prompt. And here I will give a create project command here. I give the project name as lara underscore csv. So it is creating the project. Once the project is created, let us see the folder here. So we have lara csv folder is created. You can see all the files are there. So let me go to command prompt. Code dot. So we open the project in Visual Studio Code. So first thing what we'll do in environment file, we'll change the database. I'll create a database for this. Let me give the name of the database as lara underscore csv. Let us create a database. So database created and it is an empty database now. Let us do the migration first. Go to terminal. We are creating a new table called applications. We'll have some sample data in it. Let us create the migration file first. So we'll create the model with minus M option, which will create the migration file. So migration is created. Let us see the file. Create application table. This is the migration file. We'll add the fields here. So we have given the fields as name, email and address. We'll run the migration now. So it will create all the Laravel tables as well as our new table. So the tables are created. Let us see in the database. So you can see all the tables are created and our new table is applications table. Let us now update the model. We will add the fillable fields here. So the model is updated now. Now what we will do here this table application table is empty now. So we'll have to create some test data. So we'll create a factory and generate some fake data to insert in this table. So the factory has been created. Let us see the factory. Application factory. So let us update the application factory here.
okay application factory is updated now so what we have to do it now let us go to cedar database cedar and copy this this will be for the application model and we'll create 100 rows here save it now we'll run the db seed so seeding has been done so let's see the database this is our table and we can see there are 100 rows inserted in this table now we'll create the controller so the controller is created let's see it application controller so in this controller we'll create two methods let us see you can see in this page there is a list of applications so this is our home page so we need one method in the controller which is index method that will give the list of all the applications and one more method will be there for this download csv so let us create the method in the application controller i already have copied the index.blade.php which i have already created it so in the index we are actually displaying the data in a table in an html table using pagination and there is a download button here and we are calling a route here download.csv so we will need two routes actually one for the download and other for this home page so let us create the route here so we'll comment it out and add the routes here so we have created two routes for the two functions in the application controller so what we'll do here this is our index method so let us write the code for this we'll get all the data from the applications table and then send the data to our index view so in the index method we are getting all the data using paginet so we are using laravel pagination here 10 rows in one page and latest i am using it will show the latest data first and calling the index method so what we'll do we'll create another method here i am not writing the entire code now just the function definition so what i have done i have created a function generate csv in the route we have defined generate csv uh, route here so let us create the method here and let us now run the program i'll just run the laravel php artisan serp and let's see what happens so i'll start the server so you can see the data is coming here so you can see all the data here 1 to 10 of 100 rows and the pagination is coming so now let us write the code for generate csv so in this case what we have to do we will get the data from the application then we will create a file and we will write the data in the file separated by comma so we have opened the file here and then we are using a put csv now we will use a for loop to get the data from dollar data and write the data in the file we have to write the headers for the file so let us write the headers here
Let us now run and see whether the download is working or not. So here we have, let us refresh it. So I go to the first page. Now let us click the download CSV. So it has downloaded. So if we see here, show in folder. You can see the data is downloaded in an Excel file. And if you see the number of rows in the Excel file, it should be 100, yes. There are 100 rows in the file. And in the data also we had 100 rows here. Now one thing we can do here, we can make this pagination look better. So what we have to do, we have to just update here. Here in our application service provider, application service provider. So let us add this in the boot function. Let us add. Let us now see. So I refresh it. So you can see the pagination. Now it is looking better. So this is the application that we can develop for generating the CSV file and download it. Hope I could explain it properly. If you find it useful, please give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already. You can visit the website codehowto.com for this topic. Detailed development steps are given in the website. You can download the code for free. You do not even need to sign up for that. Links are given in the video description below. Hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for watching the video.